that by 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 living with your blinders on. Mm-hmm. You know, like I, I have this theory that uh, you know, particularly in in Western civilization, like like in America, like where, where where we live, like actually being old is like a fucking party foul. You know, people don't want to like pe- people want to take elderly folks and just shuttle them into a nursing home and not deal with them, not look at them. Like it's it, 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 like old people serve as a reminder of your mortality and it just bums people out. Like being old is a party foul. Well, there's that, but there's also people can't take care of people. They don't have the ability. If you're working full time and you have a career and a family and your father is unable to take care of himself anymore, you're left with a limited amount of options. Like, what right. are you going to do? Are you going to abandon your life for the next 10 years right. so that you can take care of this person 24 hours a day? Or are you going to put him in some sort of a medical facility? Right. But then the big fear is that he gets abused there. That is the saddest, scariest shit when you, you see those videos yeah. of people getting abused in nursing homes, like hidden camera footage of huh, the last days of your life, some young asshole is fucking smacking you in the head and shoving your face in food. I haven't seen any of those videos. Oh, I'm glad those are I have horrible. Not. They're horrible. And yeah, and, and maybe it's not about putting people in nursing homes, but I just think that there's a real, like... Uh, a real like like living with the blinders on like like I don't want to think about it la 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 and then you end up you know further down the road thinking like oh man why didn't I do this why didn't I do that as opposed to really like being deliberate and and, and living the life you would want to have lived when it's coming to an end well I think it's also a learned thing to be able to take chances and if you go through your life and you get to, maybe you have a family and your family is uh, your mother and your father are ver- averse to risks and they play everything safe and then they t- drill it into your head to play it safe. And then all of a sudden you're 35. You don't know how to do anything risky. Right. This is like the life you've always lived. I mean, there's how many people that just live a sedentary lifestyle and they're just gelatinous blobs sitting in a <laughs> chair every day. Right. And trying to avoid risk. And by the <laughs> way, those are the people that freaked out the most when COVID came along. Right. Because they were really like genuinely vulnerable. Where, yeah. you know, if you're an athlete and you're relatively healthy, that was not something you were as terrified of. And those people got mad at those people that weren't terrified because right. for them, it was literally like there was a demon waiting to get them because they were scared. Because they did, and the crazy thing was when those people got vaccinated, they're like, "Well, I'm the smart one. I've taken care of myself. What are you doing, like, bitch? You you live in a glass house. Like your your body is barely functional, and you have no resiliency. You know that vaccine is it'll help you a little, but you've got other problems. Like (laughs) you're obese, and that is the one of the number one causes of death. Like the idea that you're going to be safe from danger because you got a COVID vaccine." Like, okay, well, maybe you'll be safer from COVID, but you're still vulnerable as fuck if you're obese. Right. It is one of the worst things, and it's 40% of the United States. Right. I mean, somebody said this. Uh, said, you see super old people smoking cigarettes all the time. Because they're like, fuck it. <clears throat> but how often do you see super old obese people? You don't. You don't. You don't. I mean, when you, when you put it in those terms, yeah. it, it becomes very evident that obese, yeah. like, it... it uh, Some people can just smoke for whatever reason. Right. It's weird. Did you see that guy, a uh, Chinese guy who was running marathons? Who was, uh, <laughs> he, he ran a marathon in three and a half hours while smoking cigarettes? <laughs> so you can find that cat. You got him? I mean, it's hilarious seeing this guy run. He's yeah. running, like, really good times. Look at him. He's an older <laughs> guy, too. Uncle Chen, uh, long, long-distance chain-smoking grandpa, runs a marathon in 3.5 hours. So this dude is fucking chain smoking while he's running a marathon. <laughs> Bert Kreischer. And he's a grandpa. <laughs> but he's running like a real good time. Like 3.5 hours. Okay, yeah. hold on a second. Back up. Back up to that video. That guy's younger than me. By five years. So fuck that. <laughs> I just changed my tune. So I'm in way better shape than that guy. That was like, remember when we saw that old dude that got in a fight outside of the bar? And I was like, look at that old man. Because they said he was like a 92-year-old boxer and he's fucking these dudes up. And then I found out he was younger than me. He was actually only 53. I was yeah. like, oh, well, he's in terrible shape. That time is pretty yeah. fast. I was just looking at the New York City Marathon qualifying times. And for a 40 to 40-year-old, you have to be under four hours. And this is a half an hour faster than that. Yeah, no, that's a legit that's time. Like a really good marathon runner, three hours is the goal, right? They want to get under three hours. That guy's fucking hoofing it at 50 years old. And he's smoking cigs the whole way. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, man, It's better than fuck, being obese. Fuck cigarettes, man. Yeah, fuck all that stuff. But look at him. Healthy as fuck. You know, in Thailand, uh, a lot of the Thai fighters smoke cigarettes. A lot of the uh, Thai boxers, they smoke and they drink, and then they fight. 